welcome back to my channel i'm so happy to be back vlogging it's been a minute um the last video that i recorded and uploaded was my craft market video and it's been a few weeks since my craft market and i have just like chilled um if you watch that video you know that i was traveling for work and then i got sick and then i did my market and it was just a lot so i've been chilling since then and now i am a little bit refreshed um, it's Saturday, it's early in the morning, and I'm just going to be doing a little vlog, a uh, weekend vlog like I do, and I hope you guys will join me and have fun. I have some fun things planned, but I also just am prioritizing rest in these few weeks, and obviously crochet. <laughs> So yeah, but a few updates. I am 9 subscribers away from my goal of 1,000 subscribers, so I don't talk about it a lot in here, um, but I used to run a plant YouTube channel and I was, you know, working towards 1,000 subscribers and then I kind of fell off and got really busy and switched jobs and it was just hard to keep up with, so I stopped doing it and then ever since we bought this house, my plants hate it i don't have as good of lighting and space as i did in like my apartment and then the heat in our house like is haywire like we have a lot of drafty windows and then the heat like routes to specific rooms just really aggressively so my plants don't like it so i got rid of almost all my plants also when i started traveling for work and crocheting it was just too hard to keep up with so anyway long tangent you know going is that I have had this channel for a while and I was going for a thousand subscribers to get monetized and I am about to reach that goal with crochet subscribers so I'm really excited but it's kind of unfortunate because my watch hours were at 4,000 which is the other um, requirement you need to be monetized. They were for the longest time but I wasn't at the subscriber count and now I'm about to hit the subscriber count but some of my old videos are expiring the watch hours are only good for like a year so some of my older videos are are expiring which means my watch hours are going down and expiring so about to hit the subscriber count but my watch hours are not there anymore which is rough but at least i know you know once i have, i build the subscribers that's kind of the harder part because you are trying to get visible to more people and get more people to subscribe. Watch hours are, you know, just going to come with your subscribers. So, anywho, that's pretty exciting. And if you are subscribed to my channel, just know that it makes me so happy. Every time I get a subscriber, I really, like, want to, in the future, possibly, hopefully, go full-time with YouTube. And that would mean lots of awesome content for you guys all of my time going into content creation and everything and I know personally I love my full-time creators I mean I have respect for my part-time creators too but my full-time creators like I watch so much of their content and they make awesome content and um, it's just like very entertaining for me and they deserve that because they're entertaining me <laughs> um, so that's my goal if you are subscribed I appreciate it so much if you aren't subscribed it would help me out I would love it you know um, but yeah, that's one update. Another update is that I updated some of my Etsy listings, some of the photos, which I'll show you guys just a few. I don't think I'll go through all of them because it's kind of a lot, but I'm really excited about them. They look really good. So my personal favorite is this Junior Bear listing. So this is the photo that used to be like the cover, the thumbnail on Etsy. And now this is the new one. Isn't it so cute? It's like just beautiful. So that's a pink one that I did and I'm really happy to now have a photo of the pink. Um, I am just working my way through my listings and my plushies and trying to get photos of every color and figuring all that out but I just really don't have the time so that's one and then let's see. Oh the mallard I added a video because I didn't have a video on it. So this is the listing photo that's always been there. And that's the video, that's from my market and that footage is all in my market video. Um, but I just thought it was cute and videos get prioritized with the algorithm, so that's nice. And one more, one more. 
which one? I added a photo of a child holding my fox, so that's the new thumbnail. And it's just like, I think it speaks more to people when they see the item being used, like in the context that it would be used. I mean, granted, the kids are just holding it, they're not like playing with it or anything, but it just kind of bridges that connection between product and real life kind of thing, so. I don't know, just some, just some psychology. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, I look like a bum, but it's Saturday morning. I'm just hanging out. I, for a while, I tried to, like, really figure out what I was doing, but then I started stressing too much about what I was doing. So I'm just gonna do what I want to do, especially today, and just enjoy my Saturday. So whatever we get up to, there's definitely gonna be some crocheting. Um, but I'm not gonna put too much pressure on myself to, like, do specific things. So right now I'm watching one of my favorite YouTubers, Cozy K, and I'm probably going to start crocheting in a minute. I haven't eaten and I typically do better when I eat before I start doing stuff because then I just don't eat, but it's really hard for my brain to like commit to that. I just I just don't want to be bothered. I don't want to clean it up. It's just like ugh. Anyways, I'm just going to hang out Saturday morning. Keep watching Cozy K and start crocheting. I am working on an order of five mooses and it's from Facebook and she doesn't need them until Christmas. They're Christmas gifts for her grandkids. Um, so I have really not started and I've had the order for quite a while now um, with everything else going on. And to tell you guys where I'm at with like my crochet right now, I really just don't know what to crochet. I'm at this point where like I don't want to use my yarn on stuff for fun because I feel bad then that I'm like wasting money or spending money. Um, I'm pretty frugal and I don't like to, I mean I like to but then I feel guilty or I try not to spend a lot of money. So the way that I usually justify my hobby is guilt free is I end up also kind of doing some selling on the side. Um, but now I'm at the point where I don't even want to do any crocheting for fun because then I'm wasting, you know, like, money. Does that make sense? So anyway, I, for the past, like, few weeks, um, haven't, like, I haven't wanted to put pressure on myself to crochet for, like, selling or orders or anything like that, but I wanted, like, deep down to crochet for fun, but I didn't because I didn't want to use my yarn. <laughs> So anyway, um, I was still kind of at that feeling this weekend, and then I was like, oh, I can work on the mousses, and that's a way that I can crochet, but it also feels not bad because I'm it's an order. <laughs> um, so I'm working on the mousses, and this is crazy because I made these mousses like when I first started crocheting and my tension is so much looser and like this is not stuffed that, I mean there's you can't tell anything from this but um I will put up like a finished little photo at the when I'm done with the mousse and we'll do like a size comparison but at this point I'm a little bit worried it's going to be too big um I mean the head is it's okay, but I can just tell it's really loose. And I actually sold all my mousses uh, at my markets. I sold all my grays, but I have a brown we can look at to do a size comparison right now. Okay, well, pause that. My boyfriend just got home with the groceries, so we put groceries away. And we're going to take Mac to the park. And then I think we're going to go to the farm to do a pickup of our meat. So we will resume after all that. We're headed to the park. There's one just a few minutes from our house and it's not a dog park like he's used to but he is really good off leash and here my boyfriend likes to make fun of him because <laughs> he's always so extra.
still going. <laughs> Mick, come! We always practice his recall and he's really, really good about it. He really loves treats, so he loves it that he gets a treat when he comes back. Good boy! And then here, he was just so happy. I had to replay it. I saw it when I was editing. When we got home, Mac was dirty and needed a little rinse. He also really needs groomed, but I've been waiting until it gets a little warmer outside before I give him a good shave. And here I am grabbing a little snack for him. We try, try to do a lot of positive reinforcement with him. And then here we are packing up for the farm. And I'm just grabbing some tan yarn so I can work on some moose antlers. Little did I know that I forgot scissors, which was really annoying. We buy all of our meat from a local farm and it's really important to us that we know the animals are being treated well and that we can support small and local. We also return our egg cartons and they reuse them, which I love. Now we are back home and I'm going to make something to eat. We're going to have a smoothie and some avocado toast. about two o'clock and we've been home from the farm for quite a while i we ate and then i was just playing sims and just hanging out um so now i'm in transitioning i'm probably going to eat something in a little bit and then i might crochet for a little bit while i watch youtube <laughs> Okay guys, I just finished a few uh, moose antlers. So I have four of those done. I did two on the way to the farm, but I forgot scissors, so I wasn't able to keep going. And the only reason I got two done was because I asked the employees at the farm if I could use their scissors. So I just did two right now, and that means I'll need to do six more for a total of 10 for the five mooses that I have on order. And now I think I'm gonna eat really quick and then I might go to buy some yarn. I am going to a local yarn store and I didn't take that much footage because it was so intimate, but it was really cool. Prices were really high, so I didn't get anything, but it was fun to look. Back to the safety of my local Joanne, I am just restocking on colors that I always need and getting some new colors as well. I've been trying to go to the store as often as I can because ordering online I get the rough skeins. So whenever I see colors I need there that are soft, you can see I'm feeling these and they are not good. But this purple one is, so I'm going to grab that one. And that is where I leave this video, guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. I will see you in the next video.